Please come and open a business in Boynton Beach. We have lots of incentives for small businesses and large businesses. Frank Varga, the artist, did a great job. It's a very contemporary piece, but it also reflects the city's tagline, which is Gateway to the Gulf Stream. And it's very appropriate because it's called the Gulf Stream. It's on Gulf Stream Boulevard. It really speaks to what our community is about. We're very much into fishing and um, marine life, and it really attracts us to what Boynton Beach has to offer and our amenities that are here in our city. The sculpture itself uh, consists of uh, very modern marlins, and uh, they are fabricated in stainless steel. And the uh, uh, significance of the ball underneath it, which is actually sculptured and uh, cast in bronze, represents a school of fish. And the marlins, when they feed, they will what they call ball the bait and uh, bring them into a frenzy where they're swimming in circles. So when I designed the statue uh, for uh, placement here, I took into consideration the, um, the effect of, of this feeding frenzy of, the, uh, of these great, wonderful fish. You'll find that communities that are, are um, uh, affluent in, in placing artwork uh, in their community draw on a, a very beautiful and elite group of people uh, who will uh, go to these communities, you'll find merchants uh, will be more likely to open shops uh, where there, there is uh, beauty and uh, public artwork uh, to be seen around their shops. It makes them look better and the artwork of course is there for, uh, for the pleasure of the viewer. Art has always been an economic driver. People want to come and see art. They want to um, visit it. And of course, wherever they go to visit, they bring their wallets. And uh, art has been an economic driver. We're grateful to have it down Ocean Avenue as well. Our program is uh, very vibrant, and we do an awful lot with a uh, little bit of money. I believe that art adds uh, great value to the community as uh, social influence and for growth of the community. Per our city ordinance, 1% uh, of any development needs to go toward uh, an art feature. And I think we can be very happy uh, that Walmart gave us a very beautiful art feature uh, to welcome people into the southern part of our city. I do believe that this could be the first public art feature in front of a Walmart in the nation. So that's another first for Boynton. We are always trying to progress and make things different and stepping outside and here's another great example of that.